Four Canadian teams, four legitimate Stanley Cup contenders. Here to talk about it is Jamie McLennan. Noodles, this is the perfect time to list it. we got two weeks from the deadline. Some of these teams are trending in different directions. And we want you to rank the Canadian team's Cup chances starting at number four. Well, let's start with the Toronto Maple Leafs at number four because you just mentioned a couple weeks away from the trade deadline. I still believe this team is not one or two moves away. They might be more than that to be a legitimate cup contender nightly. Now, Austin Matthews might drag them there single-handedly, but right now they're at number four. At number three, it's the Edmonton Oilers. Yes, you won 16 games in a row, but we're seeing a little bit recently the poor habits defensively creep back in. So Chris Knobloch's got to deal with that, and it might be a little bit of a lull right now, but this team is still built for success. Number two is the Winnipeg Jets. Now, they've won four or five. They're starting to score. You're getting a little bit more healthy. They've got arguably the Vesna goaltending winning trophy member in uh, Connor Hellebuck and Nett. That's how good he's been. So I think the Winnipeg Jets are trending in the right direction. And number one is the Vancouver Canucks. And I know they've, they've lost four in a row. But ultimately, this team, there's a reason why you're tied for first in the National Hockey League. The spine of the team, we talk about Demko. Uh, Quinn Hughes, Elias Pedersen, they added Lindholm. There's no weaknesses in this lineup right now. Their coach called them out to work a little bit harder. It's just a lull in their season right now, but they're still a top-tier team. And recognizing that the strength of the team takes precedent over the strength of the individual superstars, that in mind, Austin Matthews making a charge back into the Hart Trophy race. Um, it's just an historic scoring streak he's on right now. And Connor McDavid on pace to become the fourth player in history to record a 100-assist season. So any hesitation in leaving their teams at three and four, given the impact that these two players have had right now? Well, you just mentioned, now, if this was golf or this was tennis, I'd be having them different ranked. But this is a team game, and they are single-handedly dragging their team into contention with how good they've been. But it's a team around them that has to play better or more consistent. So I'm, cons I'm fine with them there at three and four. They certainly can climb the ranks. But all four teams in Canada, they've been that good just at different times. That's why I've got Vancouver, Winnipeg, Edmonton and Toronto, but it is interchangeable and based on the seasons that Mc Matthews and McDavid are having, wouldn't surprise me if they climb the charts. Well, the Canucks number one in your list holding strong. They'll look to snap their losing streak tomorrow night against the Boston Bruins. Jamie McLennan, thanks.